Hi, this is Manish Pandey. In this video, I will demonstrate the concept of a circular path in Blue Prism. We will look at what a circular path is, why it is called a circular path, the potential issue it can cause in automation process, and how to avoid this issue. Now, what is circular path? A circular path occurs in the Blue Prism when the process flow creates a loop causing the same stage to be revisited repeatedly and this is called a circular path because the flow of the process looks like a circle continuously looping back on itself right so you can see here actually we don't have loop stage used here especially but if here we have with the use of decision stage it's looping back every time to explain you clearly so that you can understand this circular path concept. Let's consider an example where we need to launch and log in into an application, perform some data entry task, and then log out. Imagine we have a loop that keeps checking for a specific button on the application interface. If the button is not found, the process waits for a few seconds and then checks again. Now I will demonstrate this in the blue prism here. And for that, so we'll be using Centrix Data Solutions application. So we will launch this and then we need to enter the credential, open this and then we need to click on orders. After that, we need to check that this button found or not. If found, then we need to click on that. Otherwise, it should try again. So let me show you here. So for this example, I will be using this object that we already have, Centrix Data Solutions. Let me open this one. And then I need to create a separate action for this one. Let me create a new page. That will for check go button. This one, right? Let me create this one. Now here, I'm going to take here one wait stage. Why I'm taking this one just to see that button exists or not because we already have an action created for this launch and login and go to orders but now after that we need to check that button exists or not so here we'll double click on wait stage and now we are going to make it as a dynamic wait so from this side from left side we'll be taking this go button drag and drop to this element from condition we'll select check exist flag equals to true now here we have a timeout five second click ok and then we'll take here two calculation stage let me do it like do it like this let me do it here let me take one calculation stage where if data found here that button exists then we'll be saying that element exists if not we'll say element exists not found like that so let me take another calculation stage here let me just do it quickly double click on that right here set exist to true and then in expression we'll pass true here in the store results, we'll be creating a separate a data item where we can store this flag. So let me go to this flag, create one. This will be for go button exist. Go button exist. Here we'll just leave as it is. Click OK. And then we'll just drag and drop this to this here so this value will be passed to this if go button exist if not so we'll be just taking here set exist to false so here also we'll pass the value false and then we'll store that th this false value to the same data item and then let me just connect this so we'll take here link stage 
to link this anchor stage with the calculus stage now we we'll link again this timeout wait timeout with the other calculation stage and after that we'll just let me just move this here let me take the end stage here and then let's take link stage again and then link the both stage with the and stage okay and sorry now let's take link stage again connect from a start to wait okay now we'll be just passing this value here from this object studio to the process studio we will be, we'll be accessing this one so let's create one here and we'll say go button exist we'll take it from here flag and then this value will pass okay now we'll just double click on this centric this page page information so that we can publish this as an action and now we'll be using this in the process studio so click ok save this you can write a meaningful information like here uh, created a check go button action here now this is saved now let's go to the process studio so here I'm going to open this centric data solutions page and then we already have everything written here but I am going to use only this launch and login and then go to orders menu so I will just link this start menu with the launch and login and after that it will go to orders okay now here go to this order because after clicking on the orders button we need to check that go button exists or not so let's delete this first take one action stage so that we can call that okay let me click on pointer double click on here and then we'll say check go button exist okay from this business object we'll be using centrix data solutions we'll have list of business objects here and then from this action we'll be taking this check go button because we we have already published this as an action now from output we have this one we need to store here so just let's create same button same um, data item and now click ok now here we are going to create the circular path so we'll be taking here decision stage and then double click go button found so we'll select here if go button equals to true so if true then we'll just go to end connect this connect this connect this with this if not found then we'll be just taking a anchor stage just to design this in a better way let's take another anchor so that means if it is not found then check again okay so let's try running here so let me go to the main here start it from launch and login set next stage let's click on a step over Okay, we'll go to the next now we'll click on a step and then here click on a step over so that like it can click on the orders menu right now here we are on this page now if we'll go with this it will say the button found sometime what happens let's say it tried to click on the orders but due to any issue 
let's say network got disconnected or this application not responding properly and we are not on this page now what will happen so you can see here it will try to check that button exist or not so it says that this button not found you can see the value false now if it is not found that it will go to the false right and then it will keep checking here so let me run this here and you can see here what is happening so let me run that and you can see continuously after five seconds it will keep running this one in the loop so it's creating a circular path this is called circular path this circular path can cause an issue in the your process in your automation process but now we'll discuss how to avoid this how to avoid this type of issue to avoid the circular path it is important to implement the controls for example you can set a maximum retry count or a timeout to ensure the process doesn't get stuck in an infinite loop now let me show you how to do that one so let's stop this for now reset this so here we'll be taking two data item one is for count you can say run count or something like that type will be taking here number initial value will be taking zero we'll take one more data item stage that is for maximum retry count max retry and this will be again number and then I want to retry maximum five times now we need to design in that way so we'll first remove this and here we'll take a calculation stage link this here with this this now click on this one change the name to increase count to one here we have count we'll just increase that count plus one so the first time value will be zero so zero plus one one and then again we'll be just storing the value in the same data item now click ok now we'll go to go button found this decision stage and here we'll write if it is true or the count is equals to like I want to repeat only till five times if the count is reached to the maximum retry count that is five then I don't want to continue I want to just go to the yes and whatever action I want to do I can do that either I can throw a system exception or anything I can do but for now I just want to end that one so we'll put like this click ok now you'll see what is going to happen so let me close this for now go to main but let me save this one let's try this way right click set next stage step over Now step into step over. So now we are on this this page where we have this go button available. But I will click on home so that I can show you how it can go to the end once it is reached to the five count here. Now let's run this. And you will see here 
it's checking and waiting for five second not found increase the count to one so you can see count one now again it will wait for five second and then check again it's going to increase to one more so count is two so it will retry until maximum retry count five okay so the count is five now let me stop this now count is five and maximum retry count is five so by this way we can avoid this type of circular path issue where it goes to the infinite loop so in summary we can say circular path can cause processes to become stuck in the infinite loops but by carefully designing the process and implementing the controls you can avoid this issues right thank you for watching this video if you have any question or suggestions please leave the comment thanks